Welcome to my presentation. My name is Wayne Burnett, and in this short podcast, I'll be explaining the concept of storyboard. I will start with a brief definition, then talk about its components, its use, and how it can be useful in digital media and in education. A storyboard is a graphic organizer, usually in the form of a comic style sketch or sometimes digital images which outlines or visualizes the sequence of a video, movie, interactive website, or another visual medium that has movement or interactivity. Storyboards are used by directors, cinematographers, and others to plan the storyline of a movie or video. They are used by website developers if there is interactivity in the website. They are used by students as a way to ensure that they plan their project before turning on the camera or booting up the computer. They are sometimes used by writers to plan the storyline of a novel or by presenters to plan the visual element of their presentation, for example using Keynote or Prezi. Storyboards are used because they present a visual way to document the production, usually how each scene or interactive page will look. This helps the camera staff decide on the positioning of cameras, set designers to prepare the sets, and customers to sew the costumes. Storyboards may be more or less detailed. Some include the text or dialogue that would be used in each scene. They might include production notes, such as noting background music or sounds. Storyboards look a lot like comic books though new software options might be less so. In addition to a sketch or image of the scene, there will be notes giving more information. This information might include the dialogue text or other information as noted earlier. Storyboards are created before filming or production begins. Directors and creators, perhaps working with storyboard artists, provide the detail to the script that allows others to complete their tasks such as creating the sets. Storyboards are important because they represent a part of the planning process and planning is a vital element for a quality production. Storyboarding allows the creator to think and rethink the storyline, setting and sequence. It gives other members of the team the opportunity to know what the creator wants and to deliver appropriate products, for example, costumes. Storyboards save time and money as they facilitate the identification of needs, which can be planned for, and problems, which can be avoided. Storyboards were first used by the Walt Disney Studio some 80 years ago. They were first used for animated shorts and were later used for live action movies. In addition to requiring a script before students undertake a video project, teachers could require a storyboard before distributing equipment. A storyboard could be an effective alternative way to summarize a movie or novel. In preparing a course, storyboards could be used to plan the sequence of lessons of the digital media used in the course. For example, website, user interface, or key interactive events. The growth of digital media, such as audio, visual, including websites, and interactive websites, is represented by increasing accessibility to tools to create media by non-experts. Analog media were characterized by cost and the need for extensive equipment and training. Now, almost anyone can make a YouTube video or create an interactive website. And, equally important, almost anyone can access that video or website. Given this popularization of creation and consumption, storyboards are an effective tool for anyone to raise the quality of her or his production, which could be viewed by even larger audiences. Storyboards are standard practice in the motion picture industry and often used in other areas such as website design. Their use in instructional design contexts promote quality planning, superior products, and cost-effective production. They are a useful tool in many contexts and certainly in the production of successful podcasts.